Um, Plus it another looks thing. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so then another thing to touch on are webcams. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, what webcams do you guys recommend for streamers? Uh, and, you know, not even webcams, but, you know, people are using like actual cameras, yep. like camcorders now. Yep. How do you yep. start? Uh, well, I actually have a camcorder. Really? Um, you can't tell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it doesn't seem quantity. to be producing more than, wait, it's, wait, is it just a picture? Oh, see, the only, I, I have a bug in my video thing. It, it's one frame. Uh, <laughs> per hour. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, so I, I have a, I have a couple cameras. Uh, my setup isn't done yet, by the way, which is why we have the still picture there. Um, I, I have a, I have two Logitech cameras um for for what is going to be close-up shots i uh then have a camcorder which i've moved to now the uh, when it comes to these video devices a lot of it has to do with how good the camera can focus on you like something to do with like the red light and the the sensor that's what i was looking for the sensor on it camcorders the red light just, the, the red light yeah the <laughs> the the camcorders generally have that technology locked down. They're bulkier, right? Uh, but they're about the same price as 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 most webcams. Um, the main difference being that with a camcorder, you're going to need to give it a separate power source, or you're going to need to plug it into the wall. In addition, it's going to need some kind of capture uh, device. So either a capture card, or alternatively, you could get something like a Camlink uh, produced by Elgato. There it is. Yep. Um, that lets you plug it right in. Um, the pros and cons differ between the two. Personally, I think with a camcorder, you get mu- a much better picture quality. Um, uh, and and Logitech, which is the like the main go to, hasn't really been improving the tech on their side. I'm actually surprised that they don't just get a camcorder and rebrand it and put a little PC attachment dongle onto it. Yeah, so honestly. Like, Damn. Logic cam. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah that's 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 my setup. Lots of HDMI wires uh running running around. Plus you can try very high playing. tech camera setup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and cheap though. <laughs> and, and cheap. It's a uh, yeah uh, like even even with this picture quality, I think it was like one fifty for the camcorder and then a tripod, and so we're talking like maybe two fifty three hundred dollars for. Uh, well, and that's the thing too. I think you get into the you get into the situation where it's an incremental improvement. Like you can get a nine hundred dollar camera and it's gonna be amazing, but ultimately with what people are going to be seeing, you know, like right. I spend ninety nine percent of my time as a little dude in the corner of the game. Exactly. Where's the value? You mm-hmm. know. Uh, that's definitely something to think about i think yeah. people get like wrapped up in the the uh you know the potential of what they can do but yes. then you have to look at your limitations you fantasize uh, mm. yeah so if you're like a let's say like a small streamer a twitch affiliate or something and you don't get quality options you can't stream at a high enough level that yeah. that camera is even worth it yeah. uh you know you're limited to like you know maybe 720p 60 fps and you can get a webcam that does 720p for 50 bucks. Like you don't need to mm. buy a you know $200 camera. So definitely make sure, you know, if you're looking to improve your or, or buy a camera or improve your uh, your camera setup, like look at what you can do. Look at what you're streaming at uh, and your max bit rate. Like if your Internet's bad, that's true. You're not going to be able to really make use of that camera. I mean, even like, uh, you know, a $50 camera gives you 1080p picture yeah i don't need right. that like there's no point so so uh another another a, a, an addendum to this um you're a webcam so i i use a c920 and i get a lot of compliments on the quality of the of the of the image at least before i changed to a different green screen and had to tweak some of my settings uh but the key if you have a webcam specifically the key to improved quality is improved lighting mm. because of the way that their stuff works. It's uh, mythical magic stuff that happens behind the actual lens. I don't understand how it works. What I do know is that more is that, uh, quit laughing at me. <laughs> is, is that, word choice. <laughs> yeah. Is greater greater lighting uh, provides a significant improvement in the in the uh, the quality of the image. So I was using 
five lights. This is part of my studio setup as a, as a, as an artist before I started streaming. So I didn't have to buy anything new. That may be uh, somewhat what of an imposition for, for some people, but you don't have to invest a significant amount of money. Uh, you can go with um, sort of a, you know, stop by home Depot or something to pick up. So yeah, there, there are some really easy solutions. What is uh, that? Clamp it's lights and stuff. Tube. Yeah. Ah. That just five LED it, tubes and that's it. Does most of the but does most of the work. You can you can actually get pretty uh, easily creative with it for not spending a lot mm. of money and, and really ramp up your lighting quality. Whereas with a camcorder, you can definitely use some really and, and like mirrorless DSLR cameras and stuff. You can do low light, really beautiful yeah. imagery that you cannot achieve with a webcam whatsoever. There are some tricks with the <clears throat> the webcam that actually get color correction to make it look like that. You'll emulate it, but you can get really yeah. Mm. 